Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be looking at one way that we can make GUI text scale uh, appropriately for all screen aspect ratios and resolutions. Uh, now a while back I did do a video on how to do this um, for GUI textures, and uh, that can be found on my website or my YouTube uh, channel. It's The video is called Scale GUI to the Right Size for Every Resolution. Um, so we're going to be doing that same process, but for GUI text. Um, the process is a little bit different, but not too much, so I'm just going to hop right into it. Alright, so let's say we want to create a GUI text. We get this little thing up here, just like we're used to, um, and we can move it around uh, using the transform position, uh, just like we can with the GUI text, uh, GUI textures. And we, if we scale it, um, nothing happens. Uh, so to let it respect the transform scales, you're going to have to uncheck this button, pixel correct, bam, and you see right away it snaps to uh, some scale. So now we can scale it around with this. Um, you could change the anchor point. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, middle center. Put this back at 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And uh, yeah, you can scale it around, uh, but right away you can see it's pretty damn blurry. Now to fix that, you're going to have to go to font size and pump that up to something larger. Something larger than zero. But of course, when you increase the font size, you're going to be increasing the size of the text, so you're also going to have to pull down the scale factor right here until you get something that you like. Um, yeah, that looks good. So, right now, this text will always take up this amount of screen space, no matter how small it is, how big, uh, whatever the aspect ratio is. Of course, if the aspect ratio is drastically different than what you designed for, it's going to stretch a little. Um, but, uh, actually, hang on, let me uh, show you the difference here. So if I check on pixel correct again, and let's say I have a screen with a smaller resolution, it's not going to take up the same amount of space uh, because we have this pixel correct thing checked. So again, if we uncheck it, then it maintains the same amount of screen space. Right, so back to the issue of stretching. For some cases, it'll be fine, and you might even want it to stretch if you're like trying to make it conform perfectly to some border that you have. But if not, and you want it to uh, stay a square or whatever ratio you want it to be, we can use the exact same script that we had uh, used last time for the GUI textures. Just pop that on uh, here, let's put in some values, say 0.29 and, I don't know, 0.8. And if I open up the script again, I'm going to change this to update temporarily so we can see it, uh, see it constantly changing when we change the aspect ratio. Um, let's see. Yeah, so as I change to different aspect ratios, it's going to try and maintain the same, uh, the same scale and the same position, but, uh, it will always maintain the same ratio that you define for it here. So, bam. It's always going to be this ratio, even if I have a tall screen or a wide screen. And again, if we uncheck that, move this guy around, you can see he stretches. But if we don't want it to stretch, we could use the GUI aspect ratio scale script, and it will prevent the stretching. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful. Uh, tell all your friends. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Google Plus, all that stuff, uh, to get all the updates when I uh, put out new videos and stuff like that. And uh, don't forget, I always put my videos and scripts up on my website, devination.com. So, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.